आपकी फाइंडिंग कितने पेजेस की परसेंटेज बहुत ज्यादा है इस इससे ये कैसे कह सकते हैं कि ये फ्लॉड है करंट डेटा हैज सम रेड फ्लैग्स फिर मद्रास आईआईटी ने कैसे कहा कि कोई रीच नहीं है आपको लगता है इस रिपोर्ट के बाद आप आईआईटी दिल्ली में बने रहेंगे नमस्कार आदाब सच्ची अकाल जय भीम जुहार मेरा नाम है नवीन कुमार इस समय देश में अगर किसी एक मुद्दे की सबसे ज्यादा चर्चा है वो है नीट सड़क से लेकर संसद तक हंगामा मचा हुआ है इस देश के 24 लाख बच्चों का भविष्य अधर में लटका हुआ है परीक्षा के नाम पर क्या हुआ है रिजल्ट के नाम पर क्या हुआ है किसी को कुछ नहीं पता सरकार अड़ी हुई है कि हम परीक्षा रद्द नहीं करना चाहते सुप्रीम कोर्ट में लगातार सुनवाई चल रही है और अभी तक यह फैसला नहीं हुआ है कि परीक्षा रद्द होगी या नहीं होगी हालांकि बहुत सारी गिरफ्तारियां हुई हैं ये बात सामने आई है कि पर्चा जो है वो बाहर गया एक सॉल्वर गैंग बाहर बैठा हुआ था इस बीच सरकार ने मद्रास आई की एक रिपोर्ट सुप्रीम कोर्ट में रखी जिसके आधार पर उसने दावा किया कि कोई पेपर लीक नहीं है कोई स्कैम नहीं है कोई घपला घोपाला घोटाला नहीं है लेकिन इस बीच दिल्ली आईआईटी के एक प्रोफेसर की रिपोर्ट आती है और वो ये कहती है कि सेंटिटी ब्रीच हुई है और बहुत बुरी तरीके से ब्रीच हुई है मतलब मद्रास आई की जो रिपोर्ट है और दिल्ली आई की जो रिपोर्ट है वो दोनों आपस में क्लैश कर रहे हैं तो हम समझने की कोशिश करने के लिए कि वाकई क्या हुआ है क्या वाकई कोई आईआईटी क्योंकि ये इंक्वायरी का विषय है क्या कोई आईआईटी पुलिस कोर्ट कचहरी सीबीआई इतनी सारी एजेंसियां लगी हुई हैं इस बीच क्या कोई प्रोफेसर कोई रिसर्च स्कॉलर क्या ये बता भी सकता है कि ब्रीच है या नहीं है तो आई दिल्ली के एक प्रोफेसर हैं बड़े जुझारू प्रोफेसर हैं डॉक्टर विशाल वैभव तो विशाल वैभव ने बड़ी हिम्मत करके एक रिपोर्ट बनाई है और हिम्मत मैं इसलिए कह रहा हूं कि उनकी जो रिपोर्ट कहती है वो जो मौजूदा डेमोक्रेटिक ढांचा है भारत का वो कहीं ना कहीं उसको चुनौती देता है जो तौर तरीके बन गए हैं एकेडेमिक इंस्टीट्यूशन के और पेपर ब्रिज से पहले मैं कहूँगा कि जो इनोसेंस है एकेडेमिया की वो ब्रीच है और वो लगातार ब्रीच है प्रोफेसरों को रिसर्च स्कॉलर्स को इंडिपेंडेंट साइंटिस्ट्स को जिस तरीके से प्रभावित करने की कोशिश हो रही है परेशान करने की कोशिश हो रही है पनिश करने की कोशिश हो रही है वो ज्यादा चिंता की बात है तो डॉक्टर विशाल वैभव बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आपका थैंक यू धन्यवाद और आपको बहुत बधाई कि आपने एक रिपोर्ट बनाने की कोशिश की बहुत क्योंकि तो पिछले काफ़ी देर से मैं देख रहा हूं कि किस तरीके से गार्ड्स आ रहे हैं आपको तंग करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं बाधा डालने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं एक ट्वीट आपने किया और आपने ये कहा कि जो इंस्टीट्यूट्स ऑफ हायर एक्सेलेंस हैं जो एकेडेमिया है उसकी सेंटिटी ब्रीच हुई है उस पर कहीं ना कहीं तरीके से तोहमत लगी है धब्बा लगा है आपको पता है कि आप क्या कह रहे हैं और इस इस पर कितना बड़ा हंगामा खड़ा हो सकता है एक्चुअली ये बहुत सारे मैटर्स हैं उन उन उसको समराइज किया है मैंने इस स्टेटमेंट में सिर्फ नीट यूजी से रिलेटेड वो स्टेटमेंट नहीं है मैं जब जब से आईआईटी दिल्ली ज्वाइन करा किया है मैंने तब से मैं आई आई टी का को ऑब्जर्व कर रहा हूँ इनकी गवर्नेंस ऑब्जर्व कर रहा पढ़ाई भी आई आई टी टू थाउजेंड वन टू टू थाउजेंड फाइव इंजीनियरिंग फिजिक्स आई वॉज मैं पहला बैच था एक्चुअली अच्छा इंजीनियरिंग फिजिक्स का फिजिक्स का ई पी mm. बोलते हैं उसे हम <laughs> कलो के लिए तो um, uh, 2019 नवंबर uh, मैंने मैं मैंने यहाँ ज्वाइन करा था तब uh, तब से मैं देख रहा हूँ यहाँ गवर्नेंस स्ट्रक्चर को बहुत आई I मीन mean, पहले तो मैंने स्टूडेंट्स की तरह एक स्टूडेंट की तरह देखा था mm. अब मैं एक फैकल्टी की तरह देख रहा हूँ तो तो ये जो स्टेटमेंट था दिस ये समराइज कर रहा था मेरे एक्सपीरियंसेस को मेरे ऑब्जर्वेशन को आईआईटी दिल्ली और मेरे कॉलीग्स मेरे फ्रेंड्स जो दूसरे आईआईटीज़ में हैं 
उनकी ओपिनियन को भी समराइज किया है मैंने पहला सवाल ये है कि क्या देखिए ये पुलिस का मामला है ये बहुत इनडेप्थ इंक्वायरी हो रही है सीबीआई इसकी जांच कर रही है कई स्टेट्स की पुलिस इन्वॉल्व हैं बहुत सारे अरेस्ट्स हुए हैं क्या साइंटिफिक तरीके से ये कहा जा सकता है कि एग्जामिनेशन का रिजल्ट जो है नीट का या किसी भी एग्जामिनेशन का रिजल्ट वो कंप्रोमाइज है ये कंप्यूटर पर बैठ के देखा जा सकता है द स्ट्रेट आंसर वुड बी नो ऑल वी कैन डू इज you know um say that there are red flags so um uh the data can tell you if you if you um uh, analyze all the historical data mm. right uh, and the present present one so using the historical data as the benchmark uh you can say that the the current uh data has some red flags acha and we can so uh, depending upon you know how much detail is there in the data we can zero in on let's say center we can zero in on the city that is problematic or mm. red flagged uh yeah or i mean i, I don't have the roll number uh, data so i don't think i can i can say claim that but um see the role of statistics is to really uh, you know flag something as problematic we, and we have um in you know uh quantitative indicators to what extent it is problematic you know in statistics that's pretty you know, quite usual to you know um, make these inferences uh quantitative mm. so uh but there is no direct determination that you know uh, something happened or didn't happen so i cannot allege anything uh, as to an, a, anything that happened on the ground but i can say that this trend looks problematic and needs to be investigated further mm. सरकार ने एक स्टेटमेंट दिया मद्रास आईआईटी की रिपोर्ट के बेस पे कि मद्रास आईआईटी ने कहा है कि कोई ब्रीच नहीं है सब ओके है इज इट ट्रू वेल देयर एग्जैक्ट वर्ड्स वेयर दैट दे डोंट फाइंड एनी अनॉर्मलस बिहेवियर एंड दे थिंक दैट द ग्राफ रिप्रेजेंट्स अ नॉर्मल बिहेवियर और इन फैक्ट सो and they have uh, analyzed state level uh, uh, national level state level city level data and they are claiming that this looks quite normal so those were those are their exact words and <clears throat> um so this was the first report we are talking about and mm. then there is a uh, second report which was uh, uh, also given uh, in response um so we are, so there are these are the, the two reports we are talking about before the supreme court asked nta to release the actual data for mm. 2024 so <clears throat> what i have done is that you know try to follow their method their recipe mm. and uh, analyze whether this qualifies as a valid statistical test you know whether i whether this uh, where the whether the recipe the steps you know to be followed within that recipe whether i can follow it in uh, you know uh, and to what extent Um, let's say i start following it to what extent can i go mm. so what i found was uh following the recipe that iit madras laid out um they at that point they hadn't not, ha- hadn't given any data to us so i had to first extract the data from the image um uh, then <clears throat> i um did certain number of experiments and i uh, st- uh, and i tried to see for myself whether i can follow those steps or mm. to what extent i can follow those steps so what i discovered was beyond the point of just plotting the graphs i couldn't make any any further determination as to whether something is anomalous or not uh, <clears throat> this was the recipe so um, we have other methods i mean i i have proposed a different method uh, you know once the data came out so we will i mean we are not talking about those Aapki right now aapki finding kitne pages ki hai this was it's very short saath panne पहला पहला रिपोर्ट सात पन्ने का है दूसरा रिपोर्ट और भी छोटा है इनफैक्ट तीन तीन पन्नों का है सो तो ये ये रिपोर्ट आपने किसको किसको भेजी है ये अभी अब तो ये पब्लिक डोमेन में है इससे वेल एफिडेविट इट वाज फाइल्ड एज एन एफिडेविट टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट आई थिंक मिस्टर हेगरे वाज हैंडलिंग दिस मैटर फ्रॉम द द बंच ऑफ पिटिशनर्स 
Okay. I so your report has been submitted to, to Supreme the Supreme Court. Court. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So now it is a uh, uh, document of uh, yes. legal fraternity. Yes. yes. Okay. कितना परसेंट ब्रीच आपको लगता है? No, so we see, uh, <coughs> we couldn't get to that point. See, mm -hmm. um, so there are two phases. Let's separate the two phases. First mm -hmm. phase, uh, NTA did not give us any data, right? Okay. I extracted the data from the image. The second phase was when NTA gave us 2024 data, and then we looked at it. Uh, so uh, <coughs> we have quantified the breach, but uh, I mean, it, we shouldn't call it a breach. We should really call it a red flag. So uh, what we do is we look at, um, so you know, uh, higher scores are usually unlikely. You know, mm. if, you are, if students are getting a uh, very high score, in large numbers, hmm. then uh, we think think of it as a red flag. So this is the benchmark right now I'm using because uh, I don't have the historical data, right? Hmm. So um, <clears throat> for each, um, I mean, we don't have a number, uh, I mean, that these many are, I mean, uh, <clears throat> ben de depending upon what criteria we define. So, hmm. so let's say uh, we say 600 plus students, um, mm. the, num the, the rise in the number of, or the, you know, the percentage of students getting 600 plus, you mm. know, uh, ex uh, shows, shows a red flag that that center has, you know, too much concentration of high scoring mm. uh, students. So uh, th this, these are the kind of statements we can make. So um, if I can, uh -huh, please. <clears throat> so this is, so we are directly jumping to the second report here. Um, so we have not gone through the first report, so just to remind you. So um, <clears throat> this is my preliminary finding. Mm -hmm. um, what this graph shows here is, what I plotted here is uh, called complementary um, cumulative distribution function. Uh, what you can read, so the way to read this graph is, let's say up 620 score de uh, de Kitne percent students ka, ka 620 uh, or above mm. uh, kitne percent students ka uh, uh, hai, mm. score. So is graph is graph mein a y axis so let ye color coded hai. Mm. So let's say is curve ki baat kare to yaha pe ab dekhi 10 percent mm. right 620 mm. or above ye 10 percent students ka hai mm. ye center hai namakal. Acha. So, इस तरीके से हम read कर सकते हैं ये graph और और ये one तक जाता है क्योंकि I mean किसी एक student का minus 180 से above तो आएगा ही आएगा इसलिए इस curve को one पे 100 percent पे जाना चाहिए ठीक है तो अब यहाँ देखिए 520 पे 30 percent so sir इसमें आपको clearly दिख रहा है कि कुछ सेंटर्स का सक्सेस रेट बहुत ही ज़्यादा है। I mean, number of percentage of students scoring very high is high, while the other centers. So these are top 50 and percentages बहुत ज़्यादा है। इस इससे ये कैसे कह सकते हैं कि ये फ्लॉड है? ये भी हो सकता है नॉर्मली हो। हाँ। It it may be natural. Right. So this is the thing. We need historical data to make that you know determination. So this is uh, this tells you at least this puts everything in uh, into one uh, you know compare. So this is a good way to compare. Mm. So you can definitely say something is uh, interesting about these centers. So I have given order. So I have taken the top 50. Mm. 620 pe actually. The uh, <coughs> highest number of uh, centers, the highest number of students have scored, scored kara hai, wo mm. top. Pe hai. Aur, so I call it red flag. Bolta <coughs> Um, you, you see, the, um, usually the curves are supposed to be like this, um, but you never, I mean, see, see uh, situation, so, so there's no f uh, physical law that tells me that, you know, this should not happen, Okay. right? Uh, all we can say is that historically, these centers are performing in this way, and this time around, mm. it performed it differently. it problematic. Yeah. So you ha see the idea is to so the statist you know statistical methods will never give you this precise or I mean I cannot generalize this thing but by and large it cannot give you that answer straight mm. in a straightforward way. Mm. 
यू कैन ओनली से थिंग्स कुछ और ग्राफ दिखा सकते हैं सो अब ये जो सेंटर मैंने फ्लैग किया है वो नमक आल उसका आप देख सकते हैं बार सो सेवन ट्वेंटी के अराउंड के एक दो सो यू कैन सी दिस इज नॉट अ बेल कर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नो द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज वेरी टॉप हैवी सो यू कैन सी द सो बाय इट सेल्फ यू नो इट डजेंट टेल अस बियॉन्ड दैट यू नो द स्टूडेंट्स हु अपियर एट दिस सेंटर वे वेरी मेरेटोरियस और समथिंग right mm. um, but if we had let's say past 5 years data then mm. we can see that okay you know this looks uh, a little too optimistic i mean uh, fortunate mm. right mm. so uh, ab ye analysis to ye center ka kiya hai ye sorry city ka hai sorry yeah, city, uh, city hai, hai ye uh, mm. we can do the same thing for centers okay so this is quite interesting ye main thoda blow up kar sakta hu mm. so isme bhi fir se wahi graph plot kiya hai maine इसमें आप वाई एक्सिस में जो भी पॉइंट देखोगे उसके नीचे आप स्कोर देख लो तो और जो परसेंटेज यहाँ दिखा रहा है सो लेट्स से दिस वन थर्टी परसेंट स्टूडेंट्स गॉट अप्रॉक्सीमेटली फाइव मोर दैन दिस लुक्स लाइक सिक्स हंड्रेड यहाँ सो सिक्स हंड्रेड स्टूडेंट्स एटलीस्ट थर्टी परसेंट स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेंटर गॉट मोर देन सिक्स हंड्रेड और सिक्स हंड्रेड और अबव राइट सो ये इसमें स्टेट का कोड थर्टी नाइन आई थिंक 23 is Reva, Haryana and 39 is Rajasthan. Delhi Public School Rewadi. Ha. So 39 and 23. आप देखिए कितने centers इसमें 39 से flag हो रहे हैं. Okay. So ये सारे centers are 23, but there are more. <coughs> so, I mean, this analysis tells you that you know um, students at these centers were really fortunate or meritorious. Uh, if if only we had historical data, hmm. we could. Make a determination. अच्छा ये नहीं कह सकते कि कितना ब्रीच हुआ है ब्रीच हुआ है लेकिन क्या ये कंफर्म कह सकते हैं कि ब्रीच हुआ है इट्स नॉट सेक्रेट सो हिस्टोरिकली इफ दैट सेंटर हैज नॉट परफॉर्म्ड सो वेल एंड सर्कमस्टांसिस इन दैट सिटी और सेंटर अराउंड दैट सेंटर हैज नॉट चेंज सिग्निफिकेंटली देन इट्स देन इट्स रीजन टू वरी I mean, we 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 should not just brush it under the rug. We should investigate uh, further. Mm. So, um, <clears throat> see, I'm not privy to all the details as to you know what further clues uh, we can derive. Maybe the pattern of answering the sh things. Mm. Um, maybe the we can look into the timeline of how the papers were distributed and so on. I mean, any, any so we we should uh, zero in on those centers and try to see whether. Uh, they followed all the procedures so uh, see at this point um, we know that leaks happened right so the default in my opinion the default assumption should be that paper might have reached the leaked paper might have reached uh, students who uh, from various centers right mm -hmm. who appeared at various centers so <clears throat> the default assumption should be that you know this center uh, was compromised um, uh, there are you know mal practices happened at each of those uh, centers for madras iit ne kaise kaha ki koi breach nahi hai so uh, un unki recipe to main follow hi nahi kar paya hu and uh, un wo log transparent bhi nahi the sara data 2023 ka aur usse pehle ka data bhi present nahi kiya unhone apne figures dale hain mm. uh, i don't know how selective those uh, tables are so i've not gone in and analyzed those, those tables because uh, honestly they should just give us the data and we would like to apply our meth methodology and mm. you know uh, see where it, where we can what answers we can get so uh, i could not follow their recipe mm. just by looking at the curve uh, it's difficult for me to tell something wrong happened only <clears throat> based on so even their own curves so you can see that 2024 uh, had more number of students scoring higher right mm. but they attribute this phenomena Uh, this observation to uh, cutting down of syllabus and uh, so that students were able to prepare better so that is one explanation mm. i mean that is just one variable right dr vishal aapne jo tweet kiya hai usme nta par bhi sawal uthaya hai ye kis aadhar par kis basis pe well nta should have really released the data if mm. you know uh, 
it's a matter of 23. Kis tarah ka data? Ab to sara data out hai. But they have done it for 2024, and we had very little time, two days, uh, okay. to analyze this thing. They should have done this uh, right, you know, right in the beginning, and and the past data, uh, you know, uh, in the <coughs> for the sake of transparency. So that you know, everybody, all the scholars of statistics or you know mathematicians could have taken a look at it. So mm -hmm. right now we have no recourse other than just to trust them that okay, whatever they did was okay, and you know whatever they are saying. Although the I mean the method is quite on its face, uh, you know, very pseudo scientific. Mm -hmm. So I mean, see, it's a very reductive analysis to say that you know uh, the <coughs> um, uh, the better results that you see here. Can can be ascribed to less and number uh, less number of you know uh, topics and so on. Uh, some people even dispute that claim that mm -hmm. there, effectively there was no more than 10 percent decrease, if at all. And can we say that decrease in syllabus uh, is a is um, leads leads to this phenomena? Can we say that? Have we observed that uh, historically, right? And and let's not forget there are multiple variables here. Uh, 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 <clears throat> student speed accuracy, you know, uh, can affect the performance. Uh, there are multiple things that can affect the performance of a student. Just to say that, mm. you know, so, um, <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> I would say this is a matter of concern, this kind of, in, uh, you know, uh, inflated um, scores, mm. uh, top heavy you know, distribution is a matter of concern and we should look deeper. Achha, aapne IIT ki pariksha di, IIT mein padhai ki, phir videsh chale gaye, research kiya, shayad Netherland, Germany mein, phir aap wapas IIT mein padhane aaye, aapko kya lagta hai ki, jo bharat se bahar ka academic mahol hai, aur jo bharat ke higher excellence इंस्टीट्यूट्स का एकेडमिक माहौल है उधर ज्यादा लिबर्टी फ्रीडम है इधर कम है आपका अपना पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस क्या है एक्चुअली आई डिड नॉट डू दैट काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटी आई वाज नॉट इन्वॉल्व इन दैट काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटी टू रियली मेक अ स्टेटमेंट बेस्ड ऑन माय एक्सपीरियंस बट आई साइंटिफिक आई सी दैट इन इंडिया uh, researchers are afraid of speaking up. I mean, in this matter, you know, mm. uh, I would have imagined in the West people would have come out with, you know, um, objections. And in fact, I, uh, an institute of the, rep, uh, you know, I in Madras's repute would not have dared to p present such a, uh, you know, analysis. I mean, if a student presented this in my class, mm. <laughs> I would, uh, you know, ask him to redo the assignment or, you know, this is uh, sophomoric at that level. I mean, mm. so okay. So and to answer your question, I mean, the, it depends on the matter at hand. Uh, uh, I, I wouldn't give a clean chit to the academia in the West, you know, as to. Uh, but they certainly have more freedom. I mean, I mean uh, it seems they have more freedom compared to uh, us here in India. Um, one thing I can tell you by my experience that mm. we. The threshold of so the micromanagement, the threshold of micromanagement uh, here is very high. So for every little thing, you know, one has to uh, go through all kinds of <clears throat> approvals. And well, now we are getting into the governance side, which you know, which is a complicated matter. So I, I you know, um, <clears throat> um, this is actually a complicated matter. So it's mm. not an easy comparison. कास्ट को लेकर बहुत सवाल उठते हैं आईआईटी में या आईआईटी में एससी एसटी ओबीसी के स्टूडेंट्स और फैकल्टीज के साथ फेयर व्यवहार नहीं है बहुत वैसे भी आईआईटीज बदनाम हैं कि वहां खासकर फैकल्टी पोजीशंस में एससी एसटी ओबीसी की एंट्री और उनका सर्वाइवल बहुत मुश्किल है इज इट ट्रू so these these matters were brought in our faculty board once once in a while it it, it did appear so well, to be honest i have not looked into these matters to really make a, a, a statement here um, um, see uh, i'm not involved in uh, recruitment so i cannot uh, tell you that but uh, 
although so for from a student's perspective so students who have suffered mm. you know um, um, at the hands of other students mm. uh, you know who were who belong to the reserved category they have written to me so i have definitely have accounts um, somebody wrote an entire um, article uh, uh, and I posted it on LinkedIn some time mm. ago. Article about what? So his experience. Um, so he, uh, you know, being yeah, being um, coming from a reserved category, uh, and his experience, you know, as a uh, <clears throat> being from that community, how he was treated throughout his uh, stay. IIT days. Yeah. Mm. Um, <clears throat> and there are alarming things. Um, you know, um, kids are. Kids can be funny, and they are—you know—they are, they are learning to be better human beings. So uh, it's difficult to make a <coughs> make a judgment. Um, I think if uh, we could probably, by training, we could create a more holistic, more more you know accepting environment. Um, <coughs> again, um, this is again a complicated matter because you know if the faculty members are burdened because of the poor governance structure. Then they will not have the time to, you know, uh, look into these matters, educate students, or listen to the grievances of the students, or engage them in, you know, in scientific activities, and you know, make uh, make them overcome. Uh, you know, even if their students are poorly treated, they uh, they will not be affected. Let's say their mental health would not be affected if they are engaged, you know, in uh, in scientific activities, you know, more than mm. they, they are right now. So I think uh, <clears throat> when I analyzed this matter, for instance, the suicide, you know, mental health situation mm. on the campus some time ago, I realized that the faculty members, uh, they're, um, they're burdened with things um, uh, that really distract them from, uh, you know, uh, do, uh, discharging their duties, true duties, not, the, not what is written okay. in black and white. Mm. I mean, <clears throat> uh, I think the solutions that we have so now. This is a very complicated matter, and we are not, uh, you know, discussing on that topic per se. Mm. But uh, <clears throat> um, you know, any solution uh, that is proposed before diagnosing the problem, uh, you know, is not going to bring fruitful results. So I believe <clears throat> the solutions that we have proposed, uh, they're unnatural, and hence their success rate is poor. Uh, we don't. Um, uh, and you know, unless this, the solution is natural and it fits naturally in this environment and this setting, mm -hmm. and you know the kind of activities we do, um, it's difficult to expect that those measures will have any positive impact. Dr. Vishal, your report has been very much in the IIT and IIT. Now you are on the top of the government. Do you think that after this report, you will be in IIT in Delhi? Obviously, I cannot predict the future. <laughs> <laughs> um, Are you worried or anxious or afraid? I'm definitely anxious, um, being uh, so that I could be targeted. I mean, but I've also been a whistleblower for other matters at IIT Delhi, mm. which are related to my personal things. It was covered by at least one um, news outlet, mm. um, <clears throat> and I am currently under suspension, mm. um, <clears throat> and an inquiry is going on. What was the reason? So suspension. my suspension, so there is a reason that the administration says, and there's a reason that I can, I, I believe. So what I believe is that <clears throat> because I flagged the wrongdoings of the institute, um, which the institute has accepted in their own investigation, two committees have acknowledged that uh, the former director, uh, you know, falsified my teaching assessment so the, the feedback data that, uh, report that we get from students, mm. you know, uh, he falsified that during my appraisal. And there was an investigation conducted internally, and they found that uh, this was falsified in a, in a letter that was sent to the um, chairman of Board of Governors so to extend my probation. So uh, similar things have been hap uh, actually happening, not once. So my teaching assessment was falsified twice, at least, mm. twice. And it's uh, acknowledged by uh, the oversight committee. It's also acknowledged by the, the, uh, the committee, four-member committee that did the investigation. Now, despite this revelation, <clears throat> so you see, I uh, when they extended my probation, uh, and the uh, probation period ended, they, I was asked to fill the form, um, fill the report, appraisal. 
report. Um, and I said, well, um, <clears throat> it had, um, my teaching assessment was incorrectly you know, cited there. So I said this entire, the, the, the integrity of this entire process is, is questionable. Mm. So I decided not to participate in it. So I did not fill the form. Yet they went ahead and did the appraisal and confirmed me. So they gave me a permanent contract. You know. uh, but that was a, pro that was a solution to, the, to their problem. The, mm. They did not provide the solution to my problem, which was to, to tell me you mm. know, uh, how such a thing could have happened. Now, uh, you know, I could have uh, taken you into more detail, but that will take us, that will be a bit of a detour. So, uh, you could <clears> have <throat> moved to court? Yes. Uh, we'll see. Uh, <clears throat> there are a lot of other, um, so this is not just the only matter. Uh, there are other uh, matters, uh, you know, which require, which, uh, 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 occupy higher priority. So, mm. you know, when you see something, uh, A, something is wrong in one place, uh, that serves as an indicator that something might be wrong in some other places mm. as well, or in larger, you know, magnitude or in larger, uh, in more rampant, you know. So, that's what I've discovered. Um, so, you came <coughs> to IIT Delhi in 2019? Yes. From? Um, at my last position was at TU Delft, uh, Technical University of Delft. Achha. Oh, yeah. And from there you came to IIT Delhi 2019. Your yeah. probation was finished? My probation was for two years. Two years and 2021. Yes. 2021 was finished and you were permanent. And when did you get suspended? So I have been agitating uh, so, uh, April, this April. This April. Yeah, 12th of April actually. Yeah. Funny, I remember that date. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, <clears throat> I've been uh, since uh, s since my um, confirmation, I have been agitating to find out the answers. Mm. They have denied even access to my personal documents. Then I had to file a bunch of RTIs and first appeals uh, to get mm. even an answer. So, so it was very obvious that you will be suspended in today's scenario. Right. So I mean, I, I have breached certain certain rules, but that was in protest. You know, in fact, I was asking for a disciplinary hearing because that was the only way I, I thought I could be heard because they were not ready to answer anything. Mm. So that's quite remarkable. So this was Dr. Vishal. Did you publish more than 1.500 research papers? No, 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 no. That's a lot. I mean, that. I have 14 first authored. Uh, okay, 14? 14, yeah. I have, my age index is nine. I mean, I did not publish anything in the last uh, um, years, uh, three years, that four years that I've been here at Idi Delhi. Uh, my student is publishing. She even got a best, one of the best pa paper awards at um, uh, Prague 2023. Okay. But she has been publishing. I'm not. I've not been publishing. But frankly, mm -hmm. I'm too <laughs> uh, disgusted by my you know experience here that I would. I, I don't want to. Uh, <clears throat> I mean. I don't want to divulge too much here. What's my what mm -hmm. my next plan is? But um, yeah. So Dr. Vishal ne academia ko bahut kuch contribute kiya. Bahut ummidon ke saath IIT Delhi aaye the. Dunia ke tamam vishwavidyalayon mein padhne, likhne aur shodh karne ke baad, lekin yahan aane ke baad inko bahut nirasha hath lagiye. Lekin ye jo niche par report banai hai Dr. Vishal ne aur jo Supreme Court mein रखा गया है वो आंख खोल देने वाली रिपोर्ट है और जो सरकार कह रही है कि कहीं कोई गड़बड़ी नहीं है परीक्षा को दोबारा कराने की जरूरत नहीं है ये इतना सीधा सरल और सच्चा मामला है नहीं लेकिन अब सबकी नजरें सुप्रीम कोर्ट पर है क्योंकि मद्रास आईआईटी की रिपोर्ट भी सुप्रीम कोर्ट के पास है और आईआईटी दिल्ली की भी रिपोर्ट सुप्रीम कोर्ट के पास है डॉक्टर विशाल की भी रिपोर्ट सुप्रीम कोर्ट के पास है तो सबको इंतजार है कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट क्या फैसला करता है लेकिन एक बात पर सब सहमत हैं सुप्रीम कोर्ट भी इस देश का पोजीशन भी डॉक्टर विशाल जैसे एकेडमिया से जुड़े हुए लोग भी कि नीट एग्जामिनेशन की जो संकटी है और परीक्षा एक टेस्टिंग एजेंसी के तौर पर जो एनटीए की संकटी है वो बहुत बड़े पैमाने पर ब्रीच हुई है और ये परीक्षा और परीक्षा का नतीजा दोनों साफ तो बिल्कुल नहीं है थैंक यू डॉक्टर विशाल आर्टिकल 19 से बात करने के लिए और Welcome. आपको बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं या आप एकेडमिया को और कंट्रीब्यूट करें और अपनी लड़ाई को बिना डरे हुए जारी रख सकें थैंक यू सो मच